Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 684. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook six, Excel Magic Trick 683 to 685. Hey, in this video here, we want to look up a name in a H lookup horizontally oriented table and in a vertical oriented table. We'll see how to do it both ways. But our goal is we want to add. Um, data set Sue. There's some data up here, but below are the relevant numbers. And for Fred, we really want to add all these up. But we want it to be automatic. This is just a small data set. We want to be able to select this here and have the formula here automatically add up chins. Now notice, for most of the times we do uh, vertical lookup. We look in the first column and then look over to some numbered column and retrieve that data. Here we're going to do horizontal lookup. So the lookup values are always in the first row. I want to look up chin, so go over to here in the first row. And then I need to add these. Now notice, H lookup, this is the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Now the way we normally do V lookup and H lookup is we say, H lookup, the lookup value is chin, comma, the table array, the values we're looking up are in the first row for horizontal lookup, and then some row has our retrieval. If I say comma 5, that means it's going to get this 493 and return it to a cell, comma, and then we're, we have words that are not sorted, so we need to use this one or 0 for exact match. Right, so 493, but what we want is all of them. No problem, we just adjust it uh, just a bit. Now, we're going to use array syntax, uh, called an array constant, because we don't want just 5, we want 5, 6, 7, 8. So we do curly brackets, 5, 6, 7, 8. That right there tells the H lookup, or later V lookup, to find all the values. So when I hit Enter, of course, it's going to be, what? just the first one? Well, the reason why is because the thing is returning only the first item. Watch this. If we highlight this and hit the F9 key, F9 is evaluate, you can see that all the values are there, but we need uh, a function that will add. Now, we could use sum and then Control shift enter because this is an array right here. If we hit enter, it won't it just retrieves the first one. But if we control shift enter, you can see the curly brackets up there and it adds. But we don't want to do that. You want to use the sum product function because the sum product function can handle arrays. And that is an array of values. And then we just hit enter and sure enough it adds. Now if we go like this, sue, it adds sues. Now you can check when you're doing this, just to, you know, if you're making the spreadsheet you want to check, highlight them and then look down. Oh, you can't see this off the screen. You can see down right here it says 552, which is just what we have. Now the V lookup is just sl a slight uh, variation. I'm going to do some product. V lookup. Lookup value is Fred, comma, and now we have our typical first column for lookup. And then the 5, 6, 7, 8th columns are what we need to return. So we in curly brackets, 5, 6, 7, 8, curly brackets, comma, 0. And that formula right there will return Fred's total. If we do Sue here, we should get the same thing. All right, so that's uh, looking up a single value and returning multiple values for e in a, either a vertical table or, as we saw up here, a horizontal table. See you next trick.